How y'all doing? This is Sister Fundy Fee coming at you one more again. Look, y'all, too much fighting is going on. And when you're fighting each other, you're purposely hurting each other. This is a no-no. You cannot do this in a relationship where you plan to have longevity. Because there's some stuff that comes out of your mouth that you cannot take back. It's there. I don't care how many times you apologize for it, how sincere you are about the apology. There's some things you just can't take back. Once that emotional slice is made, it's going to bleed. And it's going to bleed a lot. And depending on how hard you cut, how deep you cut, you might need stitches. Might need internal stitches and then outside stitches. Depending on how bad you really, really wanted to hurt that person. And I wasn't thinking we were in polygamy to hurt each other. I thought we were in polygamy to help each other, to be each other's help mates. The world is already going to dog you. Why are you dogging each other? And in the most despicable manner. Come on, y'all. We can do better than this. Ooh, got lit all over this. We can do better than this. I know we can. We have to. Brothers, you cannot control your polygamous wives with emotional battery. You cannot bring up their past to control them. You don't have any other techniques other than that? Come on now. Sister, you can't bludgeon him over the head with the things that he did in the past that were wrong. You can't do it. As a matter of fact, since I'm noticing y'all don't watch the how to fight ones, this, this is just one that I'm doing off the, off the top of my head. Y'all. If the world is already going to be at your necks, why are you flying at each other's necks? If you don't find any other solace in the world, you should be able to find that solace with each other. And I'm telling you now, I can't find emotional solace in somebody that has emotionally bludgeoned me. As a matter of fact, Here's something that you think about this. Think about this. The people in my life that I say I love, respect, and care for the most are the ones that I treat with the most ceremony. Well, Fee, what do you mean by ceremony? Well, let me tell you. What I mean by ceremony is when I see them, there's a ritual that I go through in my own head. I must present them with peace. Shalom, shalom, hotel. Like, like I enter every, like I enter and exit every video. And I call them beloved or love or my love. Something that evokes a calmness in myself so I remind myself constantly on how I should treat this individual with love and respect and understanding I make it a point not to raise my voice I make it a point not to use the bullets and when I say bullets I mean those things that I know in this person's life that has harmed them, that they still have emotional, lower emotional attachments to, um, things about their parents or, or their living conditions or how they came up as a child, those horrible incidents in our lives that have shaped us in the most hideous of manners. 
You don't use that. You surely want to break your relationship. Use the ammunition. Use those things that have hurt that person that you say you love. Use it and you will break your relationship. You will cause harm that you will never, ever be able to repair. Never. And you wonder why that person is changing on you. Why they're becoming cold and callous on you. It has everything to do with the fact that you picked up the gun and shot it. You used the ammunition. You weren't kind. You didn't clothe them in love. You used the exact same thing that a stranger on the street would use. To hurt this person that you say you love, you kiss, you lay down at night, and you enter. And I have to stand here and say, how dare you? How dare you? But you love them, right? Is that, is that what you have learned love is? You haven't learned love then. Love is protecting. Love is protecting a thing better than you would protect yourself. Putting yourself on the line. Putting this thing first. So no harm comes to it. That's love. That's true love. And until you have love like that, for the people that you say you want to spend the rest of your life with, it ain't going to happen. And if it does happen, y'all going to be war weary. And not war weary because the world is at war with you. War weary right in your own house, in your own bed at night. Stop hurting each other. Treat each other with a little ceremony. Stop being the same pigs that you were when you were so-called unenlightened. Use the consciousness that you say you have. Come up out of that emotional drudgery where you want everything to hurt like you're hurting because you can't stop hurting. Because you don't know how. Stop. You don't have to pick up the gun. There are other ways. Talk it out. Work it out. Don't go to sleep until you do. I love y'all enough to give you the pitfalls that I see y'all falling in on a regular basis. Treat each other with kindness. Even when you're upset with one another, treat each other with kindness. Clothe each other in caring. Pour love over each other where the world won't. You should at least be able to, especially in polygamy. Don't we have enough problems? Aren't there enough people's emotional problems to deal with without y'all giving each other emotional problems? Stop. And I'm here to tell you, stop. Because when you get on the phone with me, this is exactly what I'm going to tell you. Stop. When you contact me by email, I'm going to tell you, stop. What are you doing? And the first thing I'm going to ask you is how long you want this to last. I love y'all. I love you to life. Now give each other life. Instead of taking it from each other. Again, 
Queen BC. I love y'all. Shalom. Shalom. Protect peace. And bring peace to one another. If y'all need to contact me, I know a whole bunch of y'all know. <laughs> I know a whole bunch of y'all know how. Facebook, Twitter, I'm there. Hit me up. I love making these for y'all. Because I want to see you make it. I want to see you make it. Um, I'm trying to put together a teleconference. I'm still trying to figure out how how to do this thing. So y'all can talk to me and I can talk to you in real time. And that way you can see that you are not the only one with this problem. There are people around the world with it. Again, if you have any suggestions, hit me up. Um, I got an email address. I'm over on Facebook. I am me. I know I know y'all on Facebook. <laughs> Always got my ear to the street. My ear to the street. My ear to the street. Hit me up. Let me know what's jazzing. Love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I'm going to hug myself. I love y'all so much. Love you to life. Hit me up. Peace. Shalom. Shalom. Hotel. <laughs>